What, see what happens when you sign a native Texan to your roster. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good to see. Obviously, uh, Austin Smith has uh, grown up in the Dallas system, uh, and it's uh, it's fun to see. He's he's worked hard to get in this position, um, and now uh, our job here with the Texas Stars is to make him a Dallas Star. So fortunately, he's able to spend some time with us here before his uh, full uh, pro career begins next fall, and uh, he's he's been doing well. Well, he's not the youngest guy by standards with so many of your you know, young players uh, entering the program early. He's not the tallest guy, certainly, on the ice. What is it about him that you like so much? Uh, he can score goals. Uh, he's obviously, I don't know, he got a goal a game in college this year, about 38, I believe it was, and uh, he has some ability to finish. And uh, We need goal scorers in our system, and he's, uh, he's a little undersized, but he's got... Uh, He's got the uh, character and courage to go to the hard areas to score goals, and I don't think size is an issue for me. Well, he's been with the uh, team now about two weeks, I guess, mm -hmm. or so. Uh, what have you seen that's made you, you know, uh, that's fit what exactly what you were hoping to see? Most of the time when guys come in at this time of year, young players beginning of their careers, they add energy to our group. So Austin along with Jack Campbell, our goalie, uh, now Alex Jason and Taylor Vaz, for that matter, they've added energy and some enthusiasm to a group that's kind of struggled during the course of the season, and that's what I see the most of. Last question about Jack. Uh, tell us about why you uh, wanted him on your roster. Jack uh, is, is, I've been doing this a long time now, it seems, and uh, he's the hardest working practice player that I've seen. And like I said earlier, uh, the energy that he brings, he's just got to learn, get some more experience, got to learn to let the game come to him a little bit. Um, but all in all, he's a competitive uh, player, goaltender, and uh, you know he's got a he's got a bright future with the Dallas Stars. And certainly has the credentials. I mean, he, he's done nothing but you know uh, make All Star teams and and World Championship teams yeah. and those type of things. Yeah, he's ready. He was ready for the next challenge, and I think uh, he he was ready to get here. He was probably ready to get here in January. Um, but he's uh, he, he's prepared for this next step in his career and his development, and uh, all indications are that his future is bright. Last year, Scott Glennie, Brendan Dillon came out early. It's normal process for juniors, amateurs, guys out of college. How beneficial is it to get these guys in, even if it's five, ten games at this level, to get them ready for October? It's uh, it's huge to get them some time. Uh, Brendan Dillon. Uh, we go back a couple years to some other players that uh, we've had in our system. It's uh, it's very very important. So. Uh, I think it's it, it, it's invaluable experience for him. Um, Austin, uh, to be a, a Dallas area kid and to get this opportunity, I don't know, a dream? Is that what it is? What, how do you put it in words? Yeah, it's, um, I guess dream would be a good word. Um, I left here when I was 16, uh, so I was born and raised here, so to come back full circle and to have the opportunity here uh, to play my first professional game in Texas tonight will be uh, be pretty special. I've kind of been, been thinking about it the past couple of days. So. You got a crew coming? Yeah, I got lots of family, <laughs> lots of friends. Um, I don't know. It could be anywhere from, uh, well, I guess the Thursday game is going to be more like uh, my close family. But uh, on the weekend, I know I got a lot of friends and um, extended family coming down, so it'll be pretty special. What, what's it like skating on that ice and seeing that Lone Star flag up there? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, uh, being from Texas, you got a lot of, a lot of pride in your state. Um, it's kind of uh, it's ingrained in you, if you will. Um, I just gotta stay positive and keep having fun and smiling and soaking it all in. And uh, eventually they're gonna start going in, and it's gonna be even more fun. So <laughs> anxious for the crowd react tonight when they introduce you? Yeah, I think that'll be pretty special. Um, I think everyone's excited to have a Texas kid, and uh, I'm excited to be that Texas kid. So <laughs> that'll like, be great. Seem like you're having fun out there with the guys. Did they just take you in, or do they give you a hard time? Or yeah, I mean, the first couple of days were kind of um, I was real quiet, and that's not my personality. I'm kind of really outgoing, and I'm kind of loud, and I like to laugh and make jokes and have a good time. So the um, first couple of days were a little, I guess, tense for me because you don't want to say something wrong or do like getting step on toes or whatever. But, uh, yeah, most of the guys were really welcoming, and uh, it's been a really good group to be involved with. And uh, now I can kind of just be myself. It's only been a week, and I feel like I can kind of be myself already, which is nice. And it makes it a lot easier to play that way when you're not tense and worried about, you know, if you're messing with someone else's game or whatever. So I can just <clears throat> come to the rink every day and have fun and play my game. So it's pretty special. Where in, where in Dallas did you grow up? Like where? Uh, I grew up in I, – I was born uh, – I guess in Dallas, but my family lived in Canton. I was there for like no, six years. I was from Crandall. 
Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. So there was no... Um, You're um, like East Texas. Come on, where's oh, yeah. your accent? I know. And my dad has... He, people can't even understand him in the North. He's got such a heavy accent. So, <laughs> yeah. Growing up there, it was... Uh, I was only there until I was six. Okay. And then we moved to Coppell, and I was pretty much... Yeah. I raised there until I went off to school. So, yeah. so you would have gone to Coppell High School had you gone to school here? Uh, I would have, but I ended up doing... Um, I went to a middle school, uh, private middle school in Dallas, okay. uh, Good Shepherd, and then um, I went off to Jesuit for two years. The Dallas Jesuit. Yeah. So yeah, my family kind of had always done the <laughs> private school thing. So. All right. Yeah. Well, first off, you had your first three games out of the way. Let's talk about on ice what you've noticed difference-wise in the game. Yeah, you know the uh, speed's a lot quicker, and uh, the guys make great plays with the puck. It's just uh, it's on one guy's tape, and it's on the, the next guy's, just like that. So. Um, there's a little bit of adjusting when it comes to the speed, but um, at the same time, my teammates in front of me are um, so much better than you know at that, the, the last level I was playing in junior. So they, they uh, make my uh, game a lot easier, and I just have to go out there and make that first save, and uh, they take care of the rest. What's it going to mean to you to make that home debut tonight here at Cedar Park Center? I mean, I know you start on the road, kind of less pressure, not in front of the home fans, but tonight, uh, you're ready to get this thing going? Oh, absolutely. You know, um, my first night here, we had that um, autograph session, and I got to meet some of the uh, season ticket holders, and that was a great experience. And I've heard great things about the fans here in Texas and how it's uh, the best place to play in the American League. Um, so I'm just really excited to play in front of them and uh, just show them what I can do. Yeah, you know, I've had some great coaches along the way, and um, working with Joe Exter at the U.S. National Program uh, really helped accelerate my development. And um, at that time, you know, winning gold, um, my U-17 year and the U-18 tournament was big, and then the World Junior and then the other U-18 uh, at the end of my last year there. So um, all those experiences helped me uh, quite a bit. And, how to play in a big game, and I think that's what drew Dallas's attention to me. And I'm just so fortunate to be uh, in this organization, and I love the state of Texas already, and I'm excited about being here for a while. Let's talk a little bit about uh, growing up. Who were some of the goalies that you idolized? I know Marty Turco's on that list, and that's a big deal of why it's important for you to be a Dallas Star. Yeah, it's huge. Um, since I was a kid, I've always been a Red Wings fan, and uh, for whatever reason, I always felt like they were playing Dallas quite a bit. And I, uh, Marty Turco would come to you know the Joe Louis Arena, and I'd go and watch him, and just loved the way he played. He's such a great puck handler, and um, his athletic ability was uh, just great to watch as a kid. And um, it just got my attention and wanted me to be a goalie. And um, ever since, I, uh, I've been following Marty, and he uh, had a, you know fortune enough to. Uh, skate with him every single day this year pretty much up in Sault Ste. Marie and he's just such a great guy and a uh, great role model. What have been the biggest things you've learned so far here on this short stint in turning pro? Uh, you know you just got to take care of your body and uh, we have a lot of great guys in the room and I'm actually so, uh, fortunate enough to be living with uh, Brad Lukowicz for um, you know my time while I'm down here this year and he's uh, helped me out quite a bit you know coming from such a great NHL player like Brad uh, it's, it's so awesome to be able to um, you know, live with him and see what he does on a day-to-day -day basis and um, just trying to absorb as much as I can when I'm down here. As far as the way the guys play in front of you, every team has different systems. What have you noticed about the way your pro team has played in front of you here with the Texas Stars? I think the biggest thing that sticks out, you know, more important than any system you can play is just the compete level the guys are giving me. Um, they're playing so hard for me and they know I'm pretty young and they're just making my job a lot easier and um, it's just great to see that and it makes me want to go out there and help them win the game. And then also, you know, the system they play in the pros, they're so great at sticking to that and having trust in the coach and uh, our coaches are doing a great job so we're just going to keep on trying to win here. And Andrew Raycroft, a veteran goalie, is here. You know him from playing in Dallas this camp. How much has he helped you with your game so far? Also, Tyler Baskawani. I mean, you guys, two guys in front of you have kind of gone through this process before. Yeah, you know, Andrew, Andrew and Tyler are such great guys. And uh, every single day, they're, uh, you know, great role models for me. They, uh, they show me what it's like on the ice, and then they're great to me off the ice as well. And um, that means a lot to me, you know, growing up. Uh, you know, some guys aren't as nice to you know aren't as nice to kids as you hope, and uh, just to be able to be around these guys every day and the way they treat me, it just makes me want to be a good role model for kids. <laughs> no, let me ask you about uh, your teammate Austin Smith, who just joined uh, the, the Texas Stars. Also, what do you think about him signing this Texas kid and him coming in here and obviously getting a lot of attention? 
Yeah, you know, Dallas uh, signing Smitty is great for uh, the state of Texas and, and the Dallas Stars organization. Uh, Texas is getting a homegrown kid here, and Dallas is getting a great player. And um, I've been hanging out with him probably more than anybody, and he's a great guy. And um, you're going to have to see his new haircut. I think the uh, lady at the barber shop butchered it a little bit, so it's kind of funny. We have a little joke now. Um, well, we just saw him. That's not what he used to look like? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, really? No, he's a, he's a great guy and a great player, so it's an uh, honor to play with him. Uh, he, he seems to have lost his Texas accent along the way. You're, you sound like you're keeping your northern accent in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I, you know, develop that southern accent. It'd be great. And, uh, <laughs> you know, everybody, I've been up in Canada for two years now, and they all say I have an American accent. Well, hopefully now I can have that southern accent. 